Mindy, we have another really beautiful day in store. This morning on the first alert satellite and radar, already tracking some rain showers across southeast Colorado outside of Telluride and Durango this morning. We are dry here in the front range with a sunny start, but we will see clouds increase later this afternoon after lunchtime. And then after about 2 o'clock, that's when we have a chance to see a few isolated storms return to the forecast. You'll see that here on the future cast. Storms starting in the high country right around lunchtime. Again, just isolated in nature as these push across the front range it'll be after two o'clock and the main thing you'll notice with any of these is some gusty winds upwards of 20 miles per hour brief heavy rainfall and then these will quickly push off to the northeast and as they do so we do have a chance for a handful of these to turn strong to severe we'll start out mostly cloudy tonight and then see gradual clearing with another chance to see some showers and storms in the high country tomorrow and just an isolated chance for one or two of those to make their way to the front range by tomorrow afternoon risk of severe weather today we're putting that at a one on the scale of one to five. So a marginal risk out along I-76 from Fort Morgan out through Sterling. Main threat here going to be large damaging hail as well as some wind gusts upwards of 50 to 60 miles per hour. Temperatures today, another warm day on tap with highs in the upper 80s. Greeley touching 90 degrees. We'll be in the mid 90s in southeast Colorado and really comfortable up in the mountains in the 60s and 70s with the 80s out to the west. So a nice round out to your weekend. Here in Denver topping out at 89 degrees as well as in Commerce City. 90 in Brighton and up in Fort Lupton, 88 out at the airport and in Aurora. Overnight tonight, those clouds will clear out. Temperatures will fall into the 50s here in the Denver metro area. And then tomorrow, another warm day on tap with temperatures once again running above normal for this time of year in the mid to upper 80s across the front range. But that doesn't last long. We are tracking changes coming your way. As we look ahead to the end of the week, we're tracking a trough of low pressure. That's going to move in. And that's not only going to bring a better chance for us to see some rainfall in the forecast for the end of the week and into the weekend, but it's also going to bring some nice fall-like temperatures with highs dropping into the 70s, slightly below normal for this time of year as we get into the end of the week and into next weekend. Next Sunday, Kennedy, is the fall equinox, so this couldn't be timed more perfectly as we start to see those fall temperatures arrive late next week into the weekend.